Chrissy yeah. Nuts. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks. How are you? Uh, where are you? And where are you quarant? Where are you being quarantined? And how is life? Life is great. I'm very grateful, sending a lot of gratitude. I'm in Nashville right now. I bought a home here in uh, February. And so I came here to an empty house, but we've been, you know, luckily we had some beds shipped over. So at least we have that. We finally got a little bit of furniture um, with my best friend. And I came out to finish my album. And that, of course, was put on hold. And then the tour that was going to be happening in June was put on hold and pushed uh, possibly till next summer. So um, I'm just trying to stay creative, you know, sane, creative, living in gratitude, just, um, you know, taking it day by day. How are yeah. you? Where are you? I'm at my house in Clarkston, Michigan, which is right outside of Detroit with my kids, oh. who I thought were nice children until this thing started. Wait, I see a sweet little paper heart on your window. So were you doing arts and crafts? My wife did. That. Oh. I woke up at two o'clock in the morning and she was cutting out hearts out of uh, construction paper. So I think oh, that she's I love lost. That. No, I'm just kidding. My kids didn't make that. Oh, I was like, oh, I love that. <laughs> she was drinking, making hearts. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Normal Listen. stuff. So we get crafty when we're drunk. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is serious though then for you because you bought a house in Nashville. Like that means this is the real deal for you. You're going all in. Yeah, well, I've come back and forth in the past almost two years um, on my own dime, really, in between This Is Us taping. You know, if we had a long weekend or a holiday weekend, I would come out and my manager would set up rights. And that's, of course, essentially how we got the album started. And we have half of it finished. We just need the back half. Um, so when I can get back into a studio, we're going to finish that. But um, yeah, no, I've, listen, music's my first love, and it's something that I've wanted to do forever. And it was never really like supported or encouraged. And um, now that, thank you, goodness God, universe, I don't have to live out of my car. I'm like, I really want to pursue it. So I was doing it on my own time. And then luckily, I, um, things happened with Diane Warren in the song. And then Cindy Mabe, I met Universal. And it all just magically came, came to be. It's kind of funny to see the reactions online. Um, because, you know, you see somebody on a TV show and we heard you sing on the show, at least we think, but we're not sure if that's sometimes if that's Hollywood. No, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's you. And it's yeah. and the, the first single is called Talking to God, an amazing song co-written by Ashley McBride, one of my favorites. Um, really powerful song. How did you get your hands on that? So Nicolette Hayford, who um, has been friends with Ashley forever, um, they were at our Ashley writer's retreat um, one week. And Connie Harrington and Anne Retier and Jake Mitchell, um, of course, they all wrote it at the retreat. And then my manager would always just send me songs because he knows, like, I just want to hear, like, what's being written because I think it's magical that you can go into a room and four hours later have a piece of art that people can actually hear, you know, that's, like, ready for the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Forrest Gump took 10 years. The Sopranos took 10 years for to see the light of day. So anyway, um, he would just send me different songs and I heard this one and I was like, oh, wow. Like, is this Ashley? Like, is Ashley, keep, is she keeping it? Is she cutting it? And he was like, no, I don't think it's gonna fit on her album. And I was like, um, what do I need to do? Because like, <laughs> I, I just, I live this, this story. Like I know what it is. And I, I think we all as humans can understand what regret is and remorse and knowing that even if people are in your life or they're not, that like, you can still pray for them and think about them and wish them well, you know? And yeah, I just was like, ah, 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 please, please let me cut this. So I bet. Please. Yeah, yeah, please. please. <laughs> I know that you, you don't have anybody there with an instrument, do you? I don't. Well, you're in luck. Oh, oh. Got the tin sandwich. If you want me to play, you can sing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What can you play on the harmonica? Anything, everything? Uh uh, this is my kid's harmonica. It costs 45 cents on Amazon. So I can't play anything, but I know how to blow air into it and make it make noise. So. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, play me some of me. <laughs> like, what is he going to It won't sound good. I play the harmonica. I used to have one on a necklace. And when I worked as an agent, because I'd go crazy. Um, in an office, you can't stifle somebody, but I'd play this little harmonica like a crazy person. People are like, so I like, understand. Just like you that. asked me how to play it or you just wore it, it was a joke? No, 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 I 
can play if, no, I can't play, not like play, but I can keep a little tune and it's kind of fun and cute. Okay. Nothing uh, yeah. impressive. I used to, I used to bring, I used to have a harmonica and that's how my kid uh, decided he wanted one because we found mine in some box of old stuff and I used to bring it to CCD class on Wednesday and I would play my songs for my CCD class. I would write little music notes and pretend like I knew what I, it was. I, I like, not, like who had, like, what's that? CCD as in like Catholic school? Catechism, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I went to it. I was like, wait. Yeah, you were speaking the same language. Yeah, you were, pe you were teaching the, the kids how to uh, sing songs from the harmonica and play I played the, the tin sandwich. Yeah, I don't know, because like, I, how did I, where did I have, you know, to go in front of people and do that, and then like three years later, I was like scared of my own shadow. Like, I don't, it's weird <laughs> when you're a kid. Uh, you're not as scared, you're not scared of anything. You're not afraid. I know, because you're not conditioned to believe that, you know, <laughs> you're incapable or fear and doubt and all that embarrassment doesn't exist yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so why country music for you oh gosh you know i grew up with country music and i i mean i've grown up with all genres of music but like that to me the values of country music and the way that stories are told um have always resonated with me and it always has stayed with me um and when i you know i have dabbled in music since well, I guess since really high school. And it would always come back to like a particular style or a particular instrument or whatever that, you know, like a pedal steel for me or a mandolin or like those, I don't know what it is. Banjo, like string instruments, like, oh, they just get me. And um, I don't know, I just always kept going back to country music. And I guess essentially it's because they're sort of my roots and the way the stories are told and written. But yeah, um, I just love it. I just love, 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 love it. Okay, give me um, two of your favorites when you were younger that you listened to growing up and two of your favorites from today. Oh gosh, growing up, I mean, we can go back as, I mean, I don't know when I was little, but I mean, Deanna Carter for me, Jody Messina, Faith Hill, like those ladies when okay. it was very instrumental times of my life um and now i'm loving laney wilson and kaylee hammock I don't Ooh, know yeah girls um okay laney wilson she's amazing wow she's got a voice she is so special and uh she's become my friend and she actually uh co-wrote a song that's going to be on um my ep coming out so um i just love her and she's just a real deal you know her and kaylee both so very sweet. Yeah, we had her in the studio a couple months ago, and I was just like blown away by her voice and just how nice she was and authentic. Oh, and she's the best, like, and she's the funniest. I don't know if yeah. you follow her on Instagram. She is the funniest. I'm like, Lainey, I can't with you. She's, I just love her. <laughs> I love her. Uh, my wife and I love, this is us. I'm sorry, I got to go there for one second. It's okay. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> have you gone to your co-star, Mandy Moore, for any advice on navigating the, the music industry? I mean... Yeah, you know. She's been there, you know? Yeah, she's been doing it since she was 15. Um, and, you know, obviously she's married to Taylor, um, who is the, the front man of Dawes. And so they have a lot of history in music. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would ask her a couple questions of like, how do you determine, you know, what songs you want in your album? Or, you know, just sort of general questions. And yeah, she's always there to either give advice but like in a very loving way as like you know like you know what's right you know oh my god she's like your mom on the show and in real I life know, i know <laughs> honestly she's younger than me but i feel like she's so much more um eloquent and uh well versed in the things that i'm immature about um but yeah she's just lovely and yeah she definitely has given me some advice okay very yeah. cool yeah. and I'm sorry, again, I hate to talk about this because the focus is music, but like, what can you tell me about the next season? Like, everybody's having babies. That's, I just finished the last season. I'm like, oh my God, everybody's pregnant. I'm never going wherever these people live because I don't want my wife to drink the water. Right. And wait, how many kids do you have? Two. Oh, okay. I understand. Two is, that's a lot. That's two human beings. People um, used to have four kids all the time. How did they do that? Listen, I'm one of five. I have no idea. Oh, I don't, yeah. Right. I don't get it. Um, I, I don't know. But um, yeah, well, what I do know is, you know, spoiler alert, if anybody hasn't been up to date, um, Kate and Toby decide to adopt. Obviously, we know that um, Madison and Kevin are expecting, which is, um, it's super exciting, right? Because 
not everything is of course a what it seems but b that like there's no perfect way to have to like live our lives right it's just we we wish we had like a blueprint <laughs> but we don't mm -hmm. um and we i don't know i think everything happens the way it's supposed to and it might not be perfect looking and i think that's where the show really excels so we're going to see of course that journey of of you know adoption through kate and toby which is lovely and um a lot is going to be going on and there's going to be a storyline with kate that we don't know about to date um that i think will explain a lot of of her issues and so that's all i can tell you so quit asking questions oh, okay. I, well, I asked one question <laughs> No, no, no. I really, it's so hard because um, you don't really want to know, but I, I, and I don't want to tell you because you just want to experience it, but um, I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, go back no, it's, okay. Tell me. it's okay. I, 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 I'm fine knowing and experiencing having known already what's coming. That's okay. Oh, does that, does that help calm you? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's one of those things where um, I'm not sure when we're going to go back into production because of, of everything and these new protocols and regulations, but um, we definitely, uh, are going to figure it out, so not to not to worry. Okay, perfectly. Life is perfect. The the, the characters in This Is Us, their lives are perfectly unperfect. Absolutely, and because you love them so much, and no matter what happens to them, you're like, God, I just can't love you anymore. You're they're like my children. I feel like when I watch the show, all you guys, I'm like, you guys, I love you so much. Don't do that, but it's okay that you did, and I still love you for doing that. Right, <laughs> right, because you know that like people have to experience their own lives, and it's hard. They're like, oh, you're making that mistake. Okay. Ah, yeah. Give but me that, a hug. That's all, you know, we all have to make our own mistakes and learn from them. So. It's the only show worth watching on network television, too. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, well, thank you. Me, I, uh, all right, Chrissy, um, the, the song is Talking to God. Again, we know it's going to be part of a full length album, one that you've been working on for a couple of years. You've been going back and forth, like you said, in Nashville. Yeah. And do we know when the album's going to be out? Not to, not to get ahead of ourselves. Well, you don't know because you haven't recorded the second half of it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that EP will be in the next couple months. Okay. Um, so that, that I do know for sure. I just don't know about the full length album when it's going to make sense to come out and all that jazz. Okay. And I, I forgot to ask, and I always like to ask this question. You mentioned Lainey Wilson, you wrote a song with her. Who else have you been writing with for the project? Oh, well, um, goodness. I have wrote with, um, Okay, so on the song that are coming out, <laughs> probably a lot of writing sessions, right? Well, yeah, we have tons of writing sessions, but yeah. I'm just thinking about the songs that are coming out on the EP. Um, yeah. Nicolette Hayford, who um, is the the writer who is responsible for One Night Standards with Ashley McBride, and um, who is going to be opening up for me on tour. Actually, um, we've written a lot together. Um, so Nicolette um, and Aaron Raytier and. Um, Lainey. I've also co-written with um, Natalie Hemby. Um, I don't know. We'll see if those songs eventually make the album, but as far as the EP goes, it's it's been mostly um, Nicolette. So um, yeah, we, we come from the same sort of upbringing and uh, she's and she's a, she's from around the town that I that I grew up in in Florida. So we have a lot okay. of so. Homestead, you, you, uh, well, you didn't grow up in Homestead. You're born in Homestead and grew up yeah. in Gainesville, right? Yeah, so Homestead, Japan, then Gainesville. And okay. Nicolette's from sort of outside of Gainesville called Stark. So, okay. So. Well, very cool. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing more music. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. That's the surviving the remainder of quarantine and navigating Thank you whatever you're <laughs> You too. Hope, hope we get yeah. a new season of the show eventually. And, man, we, will. <laughs> we will. We will. We will. We will. It might just not be as soon as we want, but it will. Okay. We'll try and be patient. So, Chrissy Metz, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. So nice to meet you. You Virtually. too. <laughs> okay.